All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about X-Men 97 and all the controversy that's surrounding it. So look, man, we'll be back. Alright man, look, if you like the content, hit the thumbs up, push us up in the algorithms also too, we have a channel, Sketchpad Reactions, go over there, if you want the reactions, all the reactions will be over there, and um, if you want us to react to your music, you want an interview, cue cards on the screen right here, if you want to donate, that's on the screen too before that, bam subscribe that's all i can say hey man we work we work really hard over here and everybody who wants to be a part of sketchpad legion man just make sure you subscribe you know what i'm saying we do a lot of work for y'all you know what i'm saying and i love y'all but i'll be honest we want to be compensated so i know i know people hate to hear that word but <laughs> we working hard so we want to be compensated so hey man look Let's do this, man. We're going to do this together, though. But let's watch this video. X-Men 97. It's Mike breaking it down. TikTok. Let's go. Marvel has no idea what they're doing by continuing X-Men the Animated Series. Oh, here comes the deep water. Let's hear it. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really remember anyone asking for this. It's just you. It's definitely just you because people were asking for this. And just so you know, they don't have to do what you're asking for. They can do whatever they want with their company. But um, continue. Continue to hang yourself actually watching the original animated series when it came out on tv you would be in your mid-30s right now who is marvel catering this to it's not like they are rebooting it or changing a couple things it is a direct continuation first off baby boy let me explain something to you about the people who watched it in the 90s and they're now in their mid-30s and you asked who are they catering to as a person who has a comic book company myself and sells comic books, the target market is people from the age of 26 to 45. So someone in their 30s is the target market of the age that spends money. Whether they're buying the books for themselves, which is very popular in the ages of 30, or they're buying the books and the toys for their kids, is still the target market to cater to 30 year olds. You know, we're literally talking about a show that on Rotten Tomato is 100% by critics and 93% by people. And on IMDb, it's also ranked a 9 out of 10. So obviously people love and are enjoying this show. So who doesn't know what they're talking about or what they're doing? This is why everyone shouldn't have a stage to speak on. I mean, saying just because it was in the late 90s there shouldn't be a sequel is idiotic. With your logic, there should never be another Terminator movie. Because the first one came out in 1984, and that was so long ago, they shouldn't continue the story? Is that what you're saying? I mean, think about that with all films and all shows. There sometimes is a big gap before the next sequel shows up. With your logic, nothing should have a sequel. So Avatar was in what, 2009? Should they just not continue because that was years ago? Did the Alien series and Star Wars just never make another movie because when they started, it was years ago? That makes no sense. They're continuing from where they left off because this was considered one of the greatest series in Marvel and they wanted the story to go on. It's actually better that they waited so long because they had time to write the story correctly. In other words, write the sequel correctly. But yes, a lot of people wanted this, a lot of people asked for this, and you're clearly wrong. All right, so um, what the video is basically explaining, you know, that that's, that's like a good half of the video. Like, the video was actually longer. But what the video is basically explaining is that uh, people are saying that X-Men 97 is not going to have a season two or season three. And I actually got into this debate with, uh, with one quote unquote Marvel person in a, uh, in a fan page for comic books or whatever. And everybody was going back and forth. So I spoke my two cents 
And I basically said, yo, why are you lying? I put the meme up, the why are you lying meme, and saying, why are you lying that the show is not going to continue when it is going to continue? And then I shared this video to them as well as a few other videos. Here's the thing. There's a lot of things that went on behind the scenes. Somebody got fired. I forgot who exactly, but somebody got fired. Uh, if you pay attention, there was a lot of scenes where there was supposed to be a lot of woke, woke stuff. But a lot of those scenes weren't in there because they were taken out. There was still some stuff in there that was woke, but for the, the good chunk of it was taken out and they just put it the way they felt it should be. You know what I'm saying? Which I had no problem with that because they didn't oversaturate it with stuff that is going on today, which I was happy for because I felt like if they did that, it would take away from the actual series. So they didn't do that. So I'm most happy for that. So they're saying the show is not going to continue on. I said, you know, that's not true. It will. Uh, they're saying the ratings was low or whatever, whatever, this and that. First and foremost, let's make one thing clear. It's on a streaming app. It's on a streaming app. So which means that after the series is done, it's still going to be on the app. So it still has time to build up its viewership. You can't go take a show that there's, they're reintroducing to the public and put it up against a Mandalorian and all these other established programs on this app and then think it's going to do well. That's not even fair. How are you going to put it against Star Wars? You can't put that show against no Star Wars. That makes no sense. Yeah, people putting up these charts and having all these Disney programs and putting the X-Men against these programs. Oh, it didn't meet the ratings and qualifications of this program. It didn't meet the qualifications of that program. That made no sense. The show just came out. There's still people that are going to watch it. There's still people right now that have not watched it that are fans of the show that are going to watch it. So I'm like, you're not really being fair here. You know, the guy clearly showed you that Rotten Tomatoes granted it 100, basically a perfect score. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what are you guys talking about? Do you all even really know the story? So then the guy tries to tell me he knows the story. I'm like, well, if you know the story and know the comic book, then you would know that this whole series will most likely continue. You know what I'm saying? They can't end it off like that. It makes no sense. You know? I bet you some of y'all don't even know that before the X-Men that came out in the 90s, there was another one before that. But the problem with that was they never continued with it. They, like, did one episode and that was it. They did one episode and that was it. But you could definitely find it on YouTube if you search for X-Men uh, 1980s. It's like 1980s, 1985 or something like that. And it'll definitely pull up. That's where you see those old suits that the X-Men were wearing. That's where it came from. It's basically paying homage to the old show. You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and the older show... Instead of having Jubilee, it had Katie Pride. That's that was the only difference, and it had everybody else. So all I'm saying is that, you know, stop counting out the show and just give it time. You know, I told a guy too, like, yo, so if they cancel it, cancel it. What are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Everybody, all of a sudden, is these experts on comics and. All this stuff, and they know nothing. They know nothing. They don't work for Disney. You ain't behind the desk. How do you know they're going to cancel it or not? So, I mean, that was my rant on it, you know. That's about it. Yeah, I think a lot of people have these wishful thinkings. 
for some of these animators. Like everybody has this, they have to have the uh, position of opposition now. Like everybody has to be the opposition now, no matter what. Even if something's successful, like we see the whole thing with Zack Snyder, right? It was Zack Snyder. People feel mm-hmm. as though they have to hate Zack Snyder. Anything he does, they just have to hate it, no matter what it is. Even some of the critics, they have to hate it because it's Zack Snyder. We don't know why. They don't even know why. You ask them, they'll, they don't, can't even tell you why. But they have, they know that they have a cult following where he has a legion of people who like him, right? So it's the same thing with X-Men. That dude that said nobody asked for this X-Men cartoon, he looked like he was about 20, 25 years old. So you, this cartoon came out before he was even born or when he was like one or two years old. So the a whole right. logic of him saying nobody asked for this, you wasn't even of age when it first came out. So how are you even making a complaint about something that you wasn't even around for? That doesn't make sense. Exactly. That's stupid. So my thing is people hate when people like stuff. And my cousin was like this. He was so pessimistic. I don't know if he is like that still, but he was so pessimistic. What I mean by that is he looked for reasons not to like something because everybody else liked it. And he used to say it all the time. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't like it because everybody like it. I don't, I don't like it because everybody like it. And he's like, why? Well, I just don't know why everybody like it, but I don't like it because I don't like that. And it's like, that's what people do nowadays. They have this thing, this obsession with just having a stage on social media where they can say whatever they want about anything. You know what I'm saying? And with X-Men 97, I think that a lot of people are upset because it, it was actually pretty good. And they don't like the fact that everybody thinks it's good. Even the fans, even the critics agree. Because when you look at the Rotten Tomato score, which I do not like Rotten Tomato, and I do not absolutely do not follow right in tomato scores i don't i follow what i feel and that's it i don't follow scores to to justify why i like something if i like it i like it if i don't i don't and i will say that you know what i'm saying i won't just because i like somebody doesn't mean that uh i like something you know what i'm saying so the rotten tomato thing everybody's talking about Oh, yeah, the Rotten Tomato score is good. Oh, man. But see, what cracks me up about that is whenever it's something that they don't like and the Rotten Tomato score gives it a high score, they say, oh, Rotten Tomatoes, bullshit. No, never listen to that. Why are you listening to it? But as soon as something they like, they put it out there. Rotten Tomatoes, the greatest thing ever. Look, see, even the critics love it. But you just said that they was trash two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. The thing about X-Men that I think is cool because so the X-Men is probably the most recognizable group outside of the Avengers. Maybe even more so than the Avengers in America. But as a group, the X-Men is probably the biggest group that you would know, a collective group of uh, heroes or mutants or whatever you want to call them. And I think a lot of people see that. The reason why this is so big is because Disney doesn't have a cartoon that's so aggressive the way that is. Like most of their cartoons are not aggressive like that. And number two, a lot of people were waiting for something like this. They like the, to me, to me, I think that, but that's, that's my criticism of it. And I'll talk about that another time. But a lot of people who like it, they like that animated style of the 97 anime. Because they like it. That's why it's called X-Men 97. Because they like that style of animation. You know what I'm saying? That style of drawing. That style of... Because Disney is the biggest company in the world when it comes to this stuff. Obviously, they can get some people to make a better animated series. As far as the animation goes. You know what I'm saying? But they chose to go with that art style. Because it's reminiscent of the 97 art style. You know what I'm saying? 
So when I see people mm-hmm. talking about like X Men uh, ninety seven, I have to question them in their opinion because how are you mad about something that's successful? Whether it's successful through um, social media or whatever, it's still successful. And if the ratings are low, that goes that just goes back to the same argument I'm saying. Everybody's looking for validation. It's like, why do you care if the ratings are low? If you like the show, why does it matter if the ratings are low? You know why? Because you look at it from a point of view as if you are in the boardroom with them making decisions, saying, well, if the ratings are low, that means that they won't get another season. That's not true because there's a lot of shows that had rate low ratings and they still got another season. The Walking Dead was one of them. Towards the end of The Walking Dead, yeah, a lot of people was checked. They've been checked out, and they still got a season. It's a lot of shows that had their ratings was low, but they don't go it. They don't gauge it by that because most of the uh, they call it um, most of the uh, the way the way it works. They don't look at it from the ratings point of view. They look at it from the subscribers point of view. So if they got a lot of subscribers, it could be the worst show ever. But if they have a lot of subscribers, it don't matter because they don't care about the viewership because they have subscribers that's paying for it already. The viewership don't matter. You don't have to watch the show because it's on a streaming platform. You know what that means? If I don't feel like watching it today, I could watch it three weeks from now. I could watch it a a year from now because it's there. People pay for the streaming service. They don't pay for the movies or the actual shows. They pay for the service, which there's a hundred different shows on there. And they already know that to projection X-Men 97 may only get 1.5 million viewership, right? But they don't care because guess what? Maybe out of all of those viewerships, 1.57 or whatever. I don't know if that's the real number. I'm just throwing that out there. If they don't care, they don't care because guess what? Funeral Man got got uh, got um Disney Plus, and I told S about X Men ninety seven. You know what S did? S went and got Disney Plus, and then you know what he did. He told he told his his friend, and now his friend got it for his daughter and his son because they like Disney and he likes it. So when people talk about low ratings, I ask myself, well, why do you care if it's low ratings? It doesn't matter. It don't matter if the ratings are low. It could be 10 people watching. You ain't paying for that. You you paying to see the movie. If you like it, you like it. So, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. So. Nah, you right. You right, you know. You know what I mean? If the person likes it, the person likes it. Like, you know, who cares? You know, but uh, I just, I just, you know, I got annoyed with the whole narrative that there's being painted with, uh, with the show getting canceled and whatever like that, so it just was annoying. Yeah, man. Well, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Show gonna be fine, man. Even if it don't get another season, it's still dope, so it don't matter, but everything don't always get another season or another sequel. It is what it is. Some of the greatest things, they never get a sequel, and their movies made or them shows made millions and billions of dollars and they still didn't get a sequel. So things happen, man. You never know with these companies. They they switch up real fast on a lot of stuff. But hey man. It is what it is. Go go you know, go go watch that. X Men ninety six. You know what it is. All right, see ya. <laughs>